Sometimes you don't know whose item something is when you don't have your name on it. This was my mistake. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and today in this video I have a, another story time. Yes, this is my last story time, and I won't be doing story times for maybe a while. And today's story time is going to be the time, excuse me, I apologize, I had something in my eye, but anyway. So today's story is going to be my Father's Day gift turtle fight story. So this is what I decided to name this video, obviously, and it is a story about how I made this little clay turtle for my dad and I, for my soon-to-be stepdad at the time. And um, I made uh, two turtles. I made a baby turtle and a father turtle. And I forgot to put my name on the turtle. And this girl and I both had a fight over the turtle of whose turtle it was was and it became a, an issue. So this is a story just to teach you guys that you should always put your name on your projects at school because teachers don't know who belongs to what unless you put your name on something. So I'm going to get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So this all started about 22 years ago. 22 or 21 years ago, I was in the first or second grade. I mean, no, I was in the second or third grade. Um, we were making these little clay animals for our dads for Father's Day. I was making two sets. I made like a weird, awkward, ugly unicorn for my dad, for my biological dad. And then I made a dad and um, child turtle for my soon-to-be stepdad, which I'll show you the baby turtle right now. So this is the turtle that I had made for my soon-to-be stepdad, and um, it's kind of like fire glazed and everything. It's really, really cute. So I made this turtle. I made a dad turtle and a baby turtle, and I am such a dork. Before um, it was baked, I accidentally forgot to put my name on it. So I'm not gonna lie, this wasn't, this was my fault too. I forgot to put my name on this little turtle right here. So, when the turtle comes out baking, out from baking the very next week or so, um, I was, I, we were trying, my teacher had found the baby turtle and she was trying to fi figure out who it belonged to. And I said, oh, this is my turtle. And then this other girl goes, no, that's my turtle. I made, th made three or four turtles. One for my mom, one for my dad, and one for my brother. And I was like, are you sure? because I made a turtle too. So we were trying, my teachers had found this turtle and they were trying to figure out who it belonged to because this girl and I were fighting over the turtle. And I kept telling them, that's my turtle. And the other girl girls, that's my turtle, you're trying to take it. So I'm like, no, I'm not trying to take your turtle. I made a turtle too and blah, blah, blah. You're not the only one who made a turtle. So we're kind of like fighting back and forth and back and forth and it's getting like a heated argument. So my teachers tell us to stop because they're trying to figure out who this little turtle belongs to because unfortunately, as you can see, there is no name on it. There's just holes in it at the bottom. So they're trying to figure out whom it belongs to. And um, a couple days go by and they're trying to find the other turtle and they cannot find the other girl, the girl's missing turtle. So they claim it was hers and she is happy that she got the turtle. Um, I start to cry because I'm a little disappointed because I had lost my turtle. So the teacher, another teacher ends up finding a tiny turtle that's kind of like this, but this. And um, it turned out that they had the turtle, I think on the back table and um, they had found the girl's turtle. The other girl who had lost the little turtle and um, they said they, they had found her turtle and her name was on that turtle. So it turned out they did have her turtle. They just didn't realize it until 
later on. So the girl feels bad and apologizes to me for hurting my feelings and accusing me of taking her turtle. So she gives me this little turtle. So I had an extra present to give to my soon to be stepdad. And she was very nice because she felt really bad about accusing me of taking her turtle because she soon realized that this turtle was actually my turtle that um, she mistook for hers. So it happens and sadly it was too late for me to put my name on it but i was so happy that we figured out whom the turtle belonged to despite the fact it had no name so the moral of the story is you should always put your name on your projects at school whether it's your schoolwork, your art projects um anything you do at school it's really important to put your name on everything because then they know what belongs to because sometimes it does happen when you forget to put your name on things but it's just really important so then somebody doesn't try to take credit for your work by accident i mean it happens and it does get kind of confusing confusing unless there's a name on something but just please make sure you put your name on anything you do at school whether you're in middle high school or elementary school or even college you should put your name on everything so that was my Father's Day gift turtle fight story or whatever I try, decided to call this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video taught you a valuable lesson about how to put your name on things before things that are clays before they get cooked so then they know whom it belongs to. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes and I'll see you in another video soon. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.